Hi guys, I'm Cordy and I have a hot and spicy sketchbook project for you today. It was inspired by these guys. I watched an episode of The Hot Ones, which is an interview show where the guests have to eat super spicy wings and answer questions. It's really, really fun. My favorite one was the one with Shaquille O'Neal, so go check it out. This is our project that we're going to do, so let's get started. So first we're just going to roughly map out the letters. So we know where the chilies are supposed to be. And then we're gonna draw the chilies in. They're pretty much simple elongated triangle shapes and the stalks there as well. We draw them, the first ones, open, cut open. So you want to make sure you add that second layer to show that there's an edge where they've been cut open. And then there's this little bit in the middle and those little ribbed parts where the pits are attached. So when you draw in the pits, just be completely random. You know, nature doesn't have a rule, so just go the way you want. Then the one across, we're not gonna draw cut open, and the second one points into that direction as well with the cut bit and the pits. Now this next one is, as I am told, the most spicy chili pepper that is out there. It's called the Carolina Reaper and it has the funkiest shape. So when I looked it up, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to need to draw this. This is so fun. The outside is really bumpy in the weirdest and funniest way you can imagine. And the inside is also very sort of wrinkly. Now moving on over to our tea in hot, we're going to add a little thicker and stockier chili and then for the downward stroke we're going to do another open one and then the and sign i thought it would be fun to give it a little bit of a um, sort of wild west look so i'm adding the little details little pointy details there in the middle and on the ends but uh, yeah you can be creative and do whatever you want i added some flames to so for the s and spice you're going to do small curved chilies the word spicy, I thought, would be a better contrast if we don't draw them open because we need them in these interestingly bent shapes to spell out the word. So I'm keeping them closed for the P here. Again, it's always triangles and uh, let your line flow because they're not straight lines, they're organic shapes. Now this one is going to be one of those round chilies. I've also read that the rounder the chili, the spicier to form that P, we're going very spicy. And then a smaller one here for the I and another round shape for the C. So like, like I said, let the line flow, make little bumps and little shapes to keep it looking organic and not too stylized. For the Y here, we're gonna use two smaller chilies, more like jalapenos. And then the long line down is gonna be one of those nice long chilies again. They're not too spicy, I can eat those too. I can't really eat super spicy food because I get hiccups immediately. So outlining it with fine liner, I'm gonna use a 0.3 fine liner for the first round and then the second round. I'm just gonna go around the outside with a 0.5. In the end, it's gonna look something like this. If you make the outside edges a bit thicker, then it kind of pops off the page. Now I'm grabbing two red markers. I'm gonna put it all in the description, what type of markers and what colors. I'm using the Ohuhu ones, I really like those. So the stronger red with more pigment, I'm gonna put that in the center for all the red chilies. And the lighter red, I just use for the area that is cut and a little bit on that inner pulp bit. So those are the red ones. Now yellow, orange, and green for the rest of the chilies. I'm gonna put the numbers down in the description. This is gonna give us the base color of our chilies. And then later on, we're gonna add some highlights and some shading. The yellow chilies, you sometimes find little green spots. So I'm adding some green spots in there as well to make it a bit more interesting. 
Now for the stalk, so we're going to use two different types of green, the lighter green first as a base, and then we'll go in just with a darker green to add a little bit of shading, a little bit of texture. You can be completely random and draw random dots, which gives it a really natural texture is completely up to you. I'll use the dark green just sort of for the sides to give it a little bit of depth and if you go back in with the lighter color you can smudge the darker color and create a little bit of a blending into the lighter color here so on the carolina reaper we're gonna add some lighter red in the pulp and then blend it with the blender tool because that pulp is a little bit more prominent than in the smaller chilies but we're going to go back in there later and add some more highlights. So just use the blender tool to kind of smudge the edges. Next, we're going to draw our and sign nice and fiery. I'm going to use red for the base, for orange and yellow towards the flames. And remember, every time you want to sort of smooth out the color transition, you can take the lighter color into the darker one. So a little bit of gray, two different gray tones to add some depth. Always remember there's a base, there's a darker color for the shade and shading, and there's a lighter color for the highlight. And the darker color usually has less chroma when we use it for the shade or shading. So we're just gonna go over the red with a sort of light-ish gray. I'm going to put it in the description which one I'm going to use to create that depth. I think you can see it especially on the Carolina Reaper here how that how that really helps. We're going to put it on the sides of the chili of the open chili and next to the pits and then on this one here on the outside and this one here as well. Now this is quite a sharp shadow so I'm going to use a little bit of green to blend it in. Now on the bottom, I'm going to add a little shadow where the chilies are curving. And then again on the edges of our green chilies, blending them in a bit to make it less sharp. And for the shadows in the orange chilies, I'm using the light red that I used for the cut open parts of the red chilies to not overpower those shadows and with the orange that I used to draw the base colors I blend it in a bit and the yellow chilies get a bit of shading again blending it with the yellow and now to the highlights I'm using the Posca pen the white Posca pen to add some extra highlights there around the pits and in the middle and obviously on the shiny outside the chilies are so nice and shiny so we're just going to add a couple of dots and lines to show where the light bounces off the chili where the reflections are naturally they're on the opposite side where the darker shadows are on the lighter bit of the chili so now last but not least i'm going to use a very dark gray color just to add a little bit more depth to it but that is the last touch a little bit on the outside edge here and where the two chilies touch and then i think we're good so you can leave it like this or add a little bit of shadow underneath to make it look a little bit more 3d so for that i'm using a very light hb pencil and the best way to figure out where the shadows are being placed is by imagining where the light comes from so where the light source is and then it's a little easier to imagine where the shadow falls but you don't even have to draw the shadows if you want it without shadows i think it still looks quite good i use the paper stump to smooth out the shadows a little bit just to get rid of the lines inside the shapes and here we go this is our 
finished piece. I hope you had fun drawing along with me and you'll create your very own spicy sketchbook drawings. Drop me a comment and let me know what types of chilies you used. For some more sketchbook adventures, subscribe to Cordy Creativity, hit that like button and let's draw again soon. Bye bye!